So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and we're still up here in Columbia County. Yesterday we were on our way to Ricketts Glen State Park, filming a number of covered bridges. Now I'm on my way back home and filming, I think, four more covered bridges. The last four I have to do here in Columbia County. So back behind me here is the Creasyville Covered Bridge, which is another smaller one, about 45 feet long. I have some pictures to show you first, so you can see it right up ahead there. But uh, as with some of the other ones, oh yeah, my shadow's in the way a little bit. You can see what it looked like in the past. I think these two are from 1987. Oops, the wind's blowing them away. Okay, hold on a second here. And then I think these are from 1988. Looks like they redid it a year later, put some new wood on it and stuff. You can see that there. But let's go take a look, see what it looks like today. Built in 1881. This is the Little Fishing Creek. This is drivable, so we'll drive across this one. I think I gotta drive across this one to get to the other, my next covered bridge anyway. Yeah, these little small ones, not much to them, but you should recognize the design. Of course, these smaller ones never have the burr arch truss, or even like the lattice work they have. You should recognize it. It's the queen post. It goes up, across, and down. Sometimes they have another little support in the middle there. Not always. The queen post. Oh, sheesh. I thought, what is up there? I thought there was someone up there. But there's not. <laughs> what in the world? I guess that's from Halloween yet. There's a, yeah, it's a skull, skeleton, dude. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. All right, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, what in the world? There's a dude up. Okay, that's new for us. <laughs> All right, okay. Beautiful covered bridge though. Like a lot of the Columbia County ones, it's painted red on the inside too with the white bar down the middle. I guess that illuminates in the night so you don't hit the sides. All right, let's find a way down. Oh, we can go right here. Seriously doubt there's going to be any steel support beams. This is beautiful down here though. Oh, it needs, looks like it needs a little help. There's some rod at the bottom of these. Hmm. So we can get underneath here. Yeah, not a lot of uh, room underneath here. Yeah, no steel beams. But imagine every time this creek floods, because that's what it looks like happens here. This creek floods a lot, and it's that's what this damage is from, maybe, or who knows. But yeah, quaint little spot under here. <laughs> Let's make our way up this way a little bit, see if we can get a side view from down this way if I can get over here without getting wet. Let's see if this works. Uh, I'd like to get back just a little bit. That might work right there. We'll see if we can get a picture from the sunny side over there too, but this is not so bad right here. This is actually a really nice spot though. Beautiful drive to get here. Took several wrong turns, but it's like all like dirt roads and stuff back here. It's beautiful. Squeeze through here. Yeah, the majority of the roads back here are just dirt roads like this. All right, let's see. Um, I don't. There's a. I don't want to go. They have a. I don't want to get in our yard up there, but let's see if we can get a side view from over here. Um, that's actually not too bad. We'll take it. Yeah, so those pictures we saw from 1988, I guess it looked like they put brand new siding on. It was unpainted, but obviously they painted it since then. I mean, 88, you know, that's, that's well over 30 years ago. Close, yeah, 
Mm. Yeah, it's long. I mean, it doesn't seem a lot long ago, depending on how old you are, but it's 88 some time ago. Yeah, but like I keep saying, but beautiful spot back here. I think we'll, we gotta continue on down that way to get to the next one, so more dirt road driving. Yeah, there was one road up here called Hemlock Hollow Road, and that road is beautiful. It's a dirt road like this with shaded with hemlock trees on either side. Beautiful place. I don't see any graffiti on this one, so that's cool. Once again, there's our queen post. Yeah, so there are 21 covered bridges here in Columbia County, and we're doing the last four today. We're a butterfly. Um, I, I must, I will commend Columbia County because yesterday we visited a couple, and they were just beautiful. They do a really good job of preserving the covered bridges they have. Um, yeah. So, anyway, congratulations, Columbia County. Even one last look through in that creepy. Yeah, it was right about here when I was filming through, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw I saw the shoes first. I was like, what in the world? There's somebody up there, but no, it was just that. Okay. All right. All right, well, you know what comes up next? We are going to drive through this covered bridge. Although it looks like it needs a... Anyway, <laughs> I was just looking down there. Let me show you. I was you. just looking at where the road meets the covered bridge. Looks like they could use a little bit of work here, <laughs> to be honest. Anyway, we're going to drive across nonetheless. Like I said, I believe I have to go that way to get to the next covered bridge, which I forget the name of it offhand, but it doesn't matter. That'll be for the next video. So we're going to hop in a Jeep and go ahead and drive across, and I'll say farewell to you then. All right, oh, here we go. Yeah, not a single car has come through here. Not surprising, no. But here we go, across the Creasyville Bridge. All right. Thanks for coming along, folks. We're going to head to the next one, which is the Judd Christian Covered Bridge. Hopefully we get there. All right. See you on the next one.